Greetings. My name is Kevin Hall, the Magic Maniac, uh, coming to you from the middle of the coronavirus epidemic. We're all staying at home. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to teach you guys a little bit of magic to do to entertain yourselves during this time. Um, I have a very interesting piece of magic called Spell Down. And uh, all you need is some cards from any deck. So you can be anywhere at your friend's house or your house, grab an old deck. Just need to grab some cards out of it. And you're going to be able to find somebody's card by spelling its name. I know it sounds kind of weird, but let me show you how it works. First of all, we've got all these cards here. They're all different, right? And we really are mixing them up. And you can have your friends mix them. You can mix them. Three people can mix them. Doesn't matter. At the end, just kind of, you know, spread them out and make a, you know, get them out so they, somebody can pick one. Let's say they pick this one here, all right? You've got a card. You put it on top. You tell them. We are going to spell the name of the card. And so whoever picked it will, will have shown it to their friends so they'll all know the name of the card. I don't have a friend here to actually tell me what the card is. Who am I kidding? I don't have any friends. Um, so what I'm going to do is look at this card just to start out. Okay, Jack of Clubs. That's the name of the card we're going to spell. How do you spell a name? Well, if you're spelling a word like dog, you go D O. G. You put one card down for each letter. Okay? So, boom. So let's spell Jack of Clubs and see what happens. J A C K. Put these on top. Then I spell middle name O F of. And then we spell clubs. C L U B S. Jack of Clubs. Is there a card on the top now? No. It's not on the bottom either. But if you use a little magic, you can find their card. Let's spell the word magic, all right? M-A-G-I-C. Boom. Magic tells me that their card is the Jack of Clubs. I know that seems weird, but it gets even weirder because they can do it themselves. It doesn't have to be you doing this. Go like this. We'll give them the card. We'll first make sure they know it's one card per letter, like C A T is cat. Okay. Um, but then give it to them. They'll spell the Jack of Clubs. All right. J A C K. Boom. O F. Boom. And then C L U B S. Boom. Then use a little magic, of course. M A G I C N. Huh. Jack of Clubs. You're going, what? Jack? Yes. They pick, could pick any card and they're spelling it and they're actually getting their own card back. <coughs> but you're saying to yourself, wait a second, Kevin, what if my friends try to trick me? Oh, what if they lie? What if they tell me, oh, it's a 10. T E N. Well, what do you do? Well, the first thing is if your friends are lying to you, get new friends. But you can still use the same technique. Watch this. Let's say they said it was the ace of spades. A, C, E, at the ace. O, F for of. Boom. Spades. S, P, A, B, E, S. Like that. Boom. All right. They said ace of spades, and you look at them, they're giggling. You go, were you lying to me? I hope you weren't, because you know what? I'm going to use a little magic. M, A, G, I, C. And you end up finding the real card. The Jack of Clubs. What? Yeah, it's that weird. And it doesn't even matter what card you spell. You can literally spell any single card in the entire deck and you will always find their card. It doesn't matter if you take these cards here, we'll put some cards on top, some on the bottom, mix them in the middle here. Um, just spell something like a two of hearts, T, W, O, boom, O, F, boom, and then hearts, H, E A R T S. Boom. If you use magic, M A G I C, you're going to find their card, the Jack of Clubs. It's, I know, it seems unbelievable, but it gets even weirder. They don't even have to spell the name of a card. That's right. Here, let's mix them up a little bit here and just try a, well, try my name, Kevin. All right. K E V I N. Great name. Go like this. My middle name is of, of course, O F, and then my last name, uh, Kevin of uh, Pickles. All right, P I C K L 
E S. I just spelled Kevin a pickles. Is there any way that I can find a card? Sure, as long as you use magic. M A G I C. Bam. The Jack of Clubs. You have got a miracle in your hand, no matter what they do. You, know, you found it. It is called Spelled Out. It's an awesome trick. I'd say you can do it anywhere, anytime. All you need is some cards, and you're ready to go. Thank you. If you'd like to find out how this works, and I hope you do, stick around here. In about two seconds, I'm going to show you the explanation here, and it's very easy to do. All right, we're back. Okay. Um, the important thing to remember with this trick is, like once once again, it's all about the number three. All right. So first of all, you don't just grab any amount of cards. You grab nine cards. Three times three cards. Nine cards at a time. Period. You really can shuffle them. Someone else can shuffle them. They can mix them up all they want. It doesn't matter. Um, they pick a card out. Let's pick something fun here. Okay, let's say they end up picking the four of hearts. That's a totally different card. Four of hearts. All right. You put it on top. Now comes the main thing you do. You have to be sure when you start spelling the card's name out that this four of hearts is three down from the top. Three down, all right? Here's a real easy way of doing that. Demonstrate how to spell the word dog. You go D-O-G. What have you done? You put the four hearts third in a row. You drop it on top. Now it's three from the top. If I want to spell four hearts now, F-O-U-R, boom, O-F, boom, hearts, H-E-A-R-T-S, boom, a little magic, M. A G I C, you will find that you did get the Four of Hearts. Yes, it just has to be three down. So when I did the second one, what I did is I knew I started on top. I said, Oh, be sure you know how to do this. And I spelled the word cat, C A T. But once again, it was third down from the top. But let's say you have it, let's see, M A G I C. Let's say you're at this point where you just turned over and showed them the four hearts was there. You can do something different. You can go here. It doesn't matter if I put some on the top or the bottom. You can go like this. And what you're really doing is putting two cards on top and two cards on the bottom. When you do that, of course, the third card is now the four hearts. So now you're ready to start again, start figuring them out. If you don't like that idea, or, or let's, uh, you can do this. You can take, uh, oh, here's another one. You can, some cases you might have four cards on top. You just say, I'm going to mix them up. You just put two cards on the bottom, leaving two cards on top and the four hearts third from the top. And the last one I've done, I actually did this for a radio show because I wasn't there. I was on, I was on a phone line with them. I told them to put three stacks of three cards down like this. Three stacks of three. And I said, I'm going to mix them up, put three stacks of three, and then look at the bottom of any one of the stacks. So I looked at this one. That's a four hearts. Look at this one. Jack. <laughs> All right. They looked at this one. Nine of hearts. And then I just told them to put them down like that. Automatically, the nine of hearts is third to the top. You can start spelling the nine of hearts out too. So you've got a lot of different options uh, to make sure that card always starts third to the top. It's very easy to do. I highly suggest you try this. Even the kids' eyes will pop out. Um, or if you're doing it for your parents, watch and they're going to go like, what? And let the parents do it. Let them count them out. So this is called Spell Down. Um, if you want to know how, how it works, that's a little more complicated. Um, this is kind of a math thing, okay? Now, I'm kind of a math nut or a nerd. Um, I spent about 25 years designing supercomputers, okay? And one of my things I did, and this is hard to even say, was double precision, floating point, vector divide algorithms in hardware. I actually have a patent in integrated circuit design. So I'm a real math nerd, but you don't need to know all that math to make us work. If you really want to look it up, it's called Modulo Arithmetic, Base 9, and you can look it up in Google and you can find out how this works, but basically keep that card third from the top and you're going to always be successful. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this trick here. I'm going to be planning on doing a few more of these and 
that will teach you and your kids to do a little magic. I have also put together uh, what I call my six foot magic show. And so later on, when things get less crazy here later in the summer, um, it's a great show. If you have like a outdoor area or a big room or that kind of thing, we'll be able to bring all the people in. They can stand six feet apart if they want and they'll have a lot of fun. And uh, I'm thinking mostly they'll probably be outdoors, but we can do some indoor stuff too. So um, keep your eyes open. We'll probably be seeing me doing some of the six foot magic show this summer around the area. Um, other than that, stay safe, stay healthy. This is Kevin Hall, the Magic Maniac, signing out. Bye.